So Lisa, my question for you uh, next at uh, your firm, following the collaborative uh, efforts um, that you uh, undertook and subsequent success of the Cyforth and Wa Rockwell Collins value initiatives, what changes are you seeing in the industry, in the law firms in particular, in response to the value movement? Thanks, Vita. I'm very much appreciated. And, and Gary, I want to acknowledge what a tremendous honor it was to work with you and your team on this project. Um, we also had the honor of being part of the ACC kickoff many, many years ago in DC on, this, on a podium like this uh, as we began this amazing journey uh, through the value cha challenge. So it's wonderful to see us here. The, the industry is in a fascinating moment, I think, for all of us. Um, and I, the projects you're hearing all around us are uh, indicative of that. We're all exploring new ground. I think it's wonderful. And one of the things you hear from everyone is when the law firms and the clients work together, you have this wonderful business relationship. And that's a great thing because as law firms, we're trying desperately to move out of being vendors and moving back to being business partners. And I think that's really what a lot of this is about. For us, we see a couple of very interesting trends. Uh, we do do Lean Six Sigma as a law firm, so we're very interested in looking at voice of the client, standing back, trying to do things differently and more efficiently. And the two things that I think are most interesting to us right now is this concept of disaggregation. You heard it talked about up here a little bit about unbundling, where we understand from looking at data and talking to all of you that more and more stuff is coming in-house. Uh, you may be doing it with the same resources or even fewer resources, but you're bringing more inside. Your jobs are much more difficult. The other thing we see in the industry is there are an amazing array of different types of providers now, outsourcers, insourcers, kitchen table lawyers, small firms, big firms, regional firms. And one of the things that, that we're really trying to work with as a law firm and hoping and working with other law firms, quite frankly, is collaborating, is to treat, try to figure out how we can stop thinking of our industry as an adversarial proceeding and instead think of it as a way we can blend our services. So instead of having you in-house managing silos of different providers, having us work together on your benefit, taking skills, taking technology, and driving outcomes for you. I think this idea of, of allowing us to embrace disaggregation as part of your business partnership uh, will come a long way to moving us to the next step. The other thing, just to pick up on what Gary said, this whole topic of alignment is ripe for us in this industry. We have so many misaligned incentives between us where we're paying people based on the minute and yet we're asking them to be more efficient. So as we move to this next era, I think we are struggling with alignment between law firms and clients. I think that's a lot of what you're hearing up here, different ways to align us. Alignment within law firms, we need to stop paying the way we pay based on the minutes done, as Gary mentioned, very important. And then obviously alignment with the business people that we all service in the end. So very encouraging, Vita, and really appreciate the leadership that uh, the ACC has shown in helping us move forward. Well, thank you. You can bet that we will continue to keep this dialogue running, Lisa. And we congratulate you on, on the achievements that you have um, made with uh, your clients.